And as you heard Chuck mention, Hurricane Ian now a Category 4 storm. Hurricane Ian strengthened just this morning in its outer bands are already lashing South Florida. Right now, Hoosiers are in Florida helping with shelters and more help is on the way, this time to help restore power after the storm. Matthew, I know multiple teams across two states this morning just waiting for the after effects. Yeah, Julia, that's right. At this hour, a team from Indiana Red Cross is in Orlando. Now, Indiana Task Force One is stationed in Alabama, awaiting directions this morning from FEMA. And get this, the help doesn't stop there. More Hoosiers are on the way to help restore power once this storm passes. Now, I spoke with the team at Arc American. For reference, Arc American is an electrical con construction contractor, and their team is made up of about 300 linemen from Indiana and Ohio, staged in parts of Florida, with more linemen headed to the Sunshine State later this morning. Now, these linemen will specifically be working calls from Florida Power and Lights, Duke, Florida, and Georgia Power. Right now, they're in the process of mobilizing, which is getting checked into hotels, their equipment ready down in Florida, and it's the utility companies that make the call on when who gets their lights turned back on first. We do hospitals and you know uh, police stations and that type of thing. Emergency services are always first, but then after that, we kind of go to like anybody that is on uh, life support or oxygen, any type of medical emergencies, and then beyond that, we go to you know businesses and homes, and it just kind of filters out from there. But the utility is the one that has that all mapped out, and they direct us where we need to go. Now, the big concern is how much damage this hurricane will cause to Florida residents. We also know there are several Duke Energy trucks helping out from Indiana in the Polk County, Florida area. They're waiting to be moved where they're needed later this morning. Julia.